Hi, I'm Trisha, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. I'm Trisha with Peaceful Valley Farm and Garden Supply, and I'm here with our local garden goddess, Susan Gavea. We're at her garden goddess farm with her friends. Susan, thanks for inviting us. What can you tell us about your garden goddesses? Well, I started the group in 2010, and it's all about bringing community together and inspiring men and women in the kitchen and in the garden and in just overall healthy living. Yep. <laughs> I'm here in my friendship garden and these are plants that have all been given to me by different friends in the garden goddess group and it just uh, I've dedicated the garden to them. One thing I've noticed Susan is the number of unusual plants that you have on your farm. What is this one? This is a cardoon and I discovered this one while I was in Italy and it looks like an artichoke. There's artichokes over there that you can compare it to but it's got a smaller flower and it's not edible. But what is edible are these stalks down here that we're blanching. So they'll get tender and then we'll um, make a nice uh, cardoon au gratin. So here's another unusual plant um, that I just absolutely love. It's called the Nepalese cactus. And it's a little prickly, but I harvest them and I take off the spines and I either saute them or make salsas out of them and they're delicious. They taste like a, a green bean. So this is a pineapple guava tree. And what I love about the pineapple guavas are they, um, they fruit in about October if we're on schedule, and the blossoms are edible. And they have this mm, lovely exotic um, passion fruit flavor. So this is my favorite cover crop that I get from Peaceful Valley Farm Supply, and it's the fava bean. And it adds nitrogen into the soil, and it also produces these wonderful beans for eating. This is a gopher snake, and they look like rattlers, so you want to make sure that it doesn't have a triangular head or a rattle on it. So anyways, we were just looking closer to this little snake cluster of love here, and it's two gopher snakes mating. Hi, I'm Travis, and um, I just came here back from Ecuador, and I've um, been woofing here for about three days now with lovely Susan, <laughs> and I'm really enjoying my time here. I'm Brandon Bump, and I just got here as well with Travis in the last few three days. And it's been great working on the garden, checking out the cardoons and everything that I get to learn. I love the trees, so I'm ready to get started. Susan, you have a lot of activity going on here in the kitchen. Tell me about your culinary offerings. Well, I'm um, passionate about food and I love to share with the community my culinary um, teaching and skills and my things that come from the farm and show people how to grow their own food. And so um, I've traveled around the world to a bunch of different countries and studied with chefs and it's just a gift that I want to give back to the community. We've harvested some fresh cabbage leaves and we're going to make little wraps out of those. I have really been into making my own sourdough bread. Um, one of my woofers uh, came with a uh, starter from Canada. What's in the bowl? Well, I love to uh, sprout my own salads. So here's my little sprouting station over here where I sprout uh, mung beans and lentils sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, alfalfa sprouts, and then it's mixed with my uh, garden greens. Well, thank you everybody for this garden goddess feast, and especially Susan. I hear that we're gonna eat some weeds in one of the dishes here. What is it? Yep, in our um, cabbage traps down there we have sorrel, mustard, and dandelion pesto. They can find out more about that on the website. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, share this video, and follow us at the sites below. Don't forget to like this video.